Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello. My name is Shauna Marshall and welcome to my little corner of the internet where I create Sims 4 Let's Plays. I already know you're going to enjoy your time here, so please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling. Hey guys, we are back with another episode with our girl Tiana. Uh, so it's been a minute since we've seen her. In the last episode, she was um, going through it with Justin's mom in particular because she said that she wanted to sell the house and that she was moving and Justin's mom was not having it and she thought that T Tiana was being extremely selfish and wasn't realizing what she was giving up by moving out of the house that she and Justin had worked so hard for. Uh, but uh, Tiana wasn't hearing it because that house just had too many mem memories. And she was already going through so much with uh, the sudden loss of Justin. So she just needed a fresh start. And that's exactly what she did. So my girl has moved. She's finally moved in. She got her furniture in. Like everything set up. She's still moving things here and there. Uh, but she has moved into a new home that um, is big enough for her and her kids. And uh, she just loves it. Uh, she loves it. You know, the first house with her and Justin that was going to be their forever home. That was like the final one that they were going to have. But... Um, the way Tiana sees it is that that was her and Justin's forever home. And now that Justin is not there, it just did not feel uh, like her home anymore. So she did want to start over. And my girl has done exactly that. She has been through it. She's still been going through the grieving process. When you see her, when I put her back on the inside and she puts her relaxing clothes back on, you will see that she has also lost a lot, a lot of weight because of the stress that she's been going through. But she is ready to now get back on her feet and, you know, start taking that next step of, um, you know, her life and her journey and, and figuring everything out with her and her kids. So in this episode here, we are about to do a house tour so you guys can see their new home. We're going to get you caught up on Nico, Makai, and Malia. Um... Uh, she may start planning the birthday for Nico. It's definitely not going to be in this episode, though. It may be in the next one. And then our girl is going to get back into um, doing like different auditions and gigs because she does need to start back working since she is the only breadwinner now. But Justin did leave them well off. Like my girl got money. Um, but she just has to make sure that she sustains that because she got three kids so we're going to go ahead and get into this episode and the first thing we're going to do is start off with the house tour okay y'all so this is my girl's new home um it is currently winter and she decided that she wanted to move into the same city as her mom amina so when amina comes back you guys will see that uh she's now living in mount Comoribi because you know they had to move because of everything that happened at the end of amina season so amina will be back she will also be living in mount Comoribi. um her house is actually like uh somewhere over the mountain so it's not far at all um tiana just wanted to be closer to amina versus being closer to justin's parents because i mean amina is her mother so uh so this is the front of the house we still have the for sale sign out there because she hasn't been in here that long so she still has a for sale sign but we'll take that down eventually so we're gonna go ahead and head on into the inside all right, so as we're going in, here is the little doorway. We already have um, our rug and it just says hello. Soon as we go in the door, we're gonna head straight to the right. And as soon as you walk in, there's the front door. You walk into our dining room, which is to the 
uh, right when you're walking in. And this is what she's still sort of messing with, trying to see how she likes it. Extremely, extremely tall ceilings in this house, um, especially if you're on the main floor. So this is her dining room right now. And she's going to be adding things along the way. And then you go straight into the kitchen. But we'll get there um, in a minute. So we're going to go back to the door area. And we have, you know, her little area over here. But of course, as soon as you walked in, she wanted you to see one and one person only. And that was, well, her and Justin. <laughs> um, so she does have a picture of Justin here on this wall. As soon as you walk in, you turn to the left. And you will see the final professional photos that they took together. Um, these were actually the last, like I said, professional ones that they had taken. They were not able to take any more other than that. Uh, you come here and you go straight into the garage where it's nothing but Amina, uh, Amina, Tiana's car. And then she got the stroller for the kids. So nothing crazy. The cat litter box is there. So nothing wild. Um, on the second wall is another picture of our guy and Tiana. Um, so you will see pictures of Justin all throughout this house. She's making sure that his memory stays alive, that the kids remember who he is. So even if she was to start dating someone way down the line, I don't think she would ever take down these pictures. I, I, I don't think so, but I mean, hey. We'll, we'll see and then as you keep walking in we have um the family room so this is where you know the kids and amina Am why do i keep saying amina tiana are you go here we have like our little half bathroom which is nice so she doesn't have to go too far if she has to go to the restroom so she has her tv um over there we have all of her books uh, if she needs to put Malia into something, we have plenty of little contraptions to put her into. And then her absolute favorite area of the house is right here where she has her record player. She also have um, like this wall just to remember Justin and has forever at the top. Um, so and it's just like them down memory lane when they were younger versus once they got older and then once they introduce kids into their lives so it's literally just all the stages of tiana and justin from the time they started dating um and of course this was the last family picture that they were able to take with only nico and makai um they were not able to take any pictures with baby Malia. So that's the only sad part is that he never really got the chance to even know his daughter. So, but that's okay. Tiana's going to make sure that um, Malia knows him. That's for sure. So yeah, this is their family room. She's still trying to put up Christmas decorations. So she wants to make sure she has plenty of toys out for them because they're always down here. Um, if she's down here, so she just wants to make sure that they stay occupied. Um, and the tree will probably go here. But again, we still got boxes out because she's still decorating. We're not 100% done with that. Um, another picture of Justin, her little coffee table, because we could come on around and go into the kitchen. So here's her kitchen, a lot smaller than the other house, but it's a perfect size for her. And it just overlooks that area. So if she's in here cleaning and the kids are there, she can still see them and just keep her eyes on them. So, I mean, looks good. And we have our little cat food over there. Um... I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the backyard since we're down here. Uh, the backyard is not as big as the other one at all. We don't have a pool anymore. She did have to let that go. Um, but we do have like a little kiddie pool for the kids. And she got like them just some little play things out here. So this is the outside. I mean it's nice but it is not as big as her other house at all it's not even big enough to put a pool even if we wanted to um she is thinking about creating like a little outside little sitting area more than likely once it gets spring so she's not in a rush now that it's winter 
um but she does want to possibly install like a little fireplace over here since we have the ceiling fan put a tv maybe on that wall i don't know we're still trying to figure it out but she has all season long to determine how she wants it to look out here uh so we're not in any rush for that so we're gonna go ahead and head upstairs all right so we're back inside this house has two um different sets of stairs we have this um staircase and then we have this staircase over there um just for it we're just gonna go up these stairs and then we may just come down those actually we're not gonna go upstairs yet i lied we're not going upstairs yet i haven't even showed you her room and her room is downstairs and it's through this hallway you turn to the left we have our first laundry room um the second one is upstairs but uh, we do have one down here as well and then you turn to the right and we actually have her room so here's tiana's room absolutely beautiful i love those walls that she i mean the windows that she has in here of course we had to put justin right there by her bedside um so yeah it's really nice she had to put this in here a little bassinet because sometimes malia would get really cranky and she's all the way uh, all the way upstairs so tiana will just bring her downstairs so she could sleep in the room with her um then she has her little rocking chair if she have to like step in here and nurse malia she will do that in here um half of the time milo will sleep in here with her so she put his little cat bed in here as well and then we have two more photos of justin she just wanted to make sure that he was in here with her as well um and then you go through these doors and you go straight into her bathroom so we have two different sinks his and hers you go through here we have the toilet and then the tub and we also have the shower so nothing too crazy in here but it is a really really nice bathroom all right so that is actually the final room up here i mean down here so now we are going to go ahead and head upstairs all right, y'all. So we are now upstairs. I'm trying to see exactly where I want us to start. Um, I think we're going to start in the family room. So let's come on over here, which if I would have taken the staircase that was over here that I showed you guys that's by the front door, it actually would have led us right to the little second family room. So we're going to just start over here. Um, this is our second laundry room right here which more than likely she'll probably be doing laundry upstairs way more than she will downstairs uh possibly but i mean i could be wrong just depends on how she's feeling um but we have her little desk area right here where she can work while they are playing and she always just wants to make sure that there's something to keep the kids entertained so she definitely wanted to make like their little playroom up here uh, for them to come and enjoy each other instead of being in their room or downstairs all the time they can come upstairs and uh, play as well all right so we're gonna go on down the hallway i love that she has these little like balconies where she can look over downstairs and see what's going on let's say the kids are down there but she had to run upstairs for a second she could still look down there make sure that they're okay and go ahead and do what she got to do um again we have photos of mr justin all over um they're gonna be all over the house like i said because our guy is not going nowhere and the very first room that you walk into right here is going to be our baby malia's i do think she's up now so she's probably not too happy with us yeah she's over here she she she's not happy at all she's probably crying so <laughs> but she'll be okay we'll take care of her soon um i'm trying to get us a good angle for me to see her room but we may just have to do it a little step at a time okay all right so here's our girl's room right here let me zoom out so we have her little changing table she has her mat for when it's time for her to do tummy time a uh, rocking chair and then she's right here in her crib and then we have her little paintings as she gets older she will have a bathroom um, of her own and then the two boys they share a bathroom but they have their own separate room 
so we have her dresser over here and then we have her bathroom which she has a really really nice bathroom um it's just her tub and her shower the little toilet area and then all the towels and sheets and things like that that she will need as she gets older but we do have some extra diapers right there um i have like uh i think the cc creator name is dollish and for whatever reason like her her cc is like glitching for me y'all see how it's like doing that and i don't i don't know why so it's only some of her stuff though not all of it so I must have something in my game that's messing with it. But to be honest, I don't have time to figure it out. So <laughs> we just going to leave it be. Uh, we're going to come on out of her room. Turn to the left. Those are the stairs we originally came out of. And this second room here is Mr. Nico's. So we're going to go in. Look at our cool guy. He got like a little Star Wars room. Um, he's still sleeping, but he has a really nice room. That's his closet, his sitting area. He got his toys and everything, his books. Um, yeah, so he has all his toys, his trucks, all that other good stuff. So we're not going to stay in here too long. We're going to let our little man sleep. And to think that he's about to become a child, y'all, like, I'm not ready. Look at his little face. I'm not ready to, I'm not ready to age them up. Which is what's taking me so long because I'm not I'm not ready. <laughs> um, but we're going to go ahead and go into his uh, bathroom. And when we come out of it, we will be in uh, Nico, uh, not Nico, Makai's room. OK, so going into their bathroom, here it is. They have their same, basically the same as um, Malia theirs just doesn't have all the essentials yet because we're still adding it I don't know what Milo's little butt is doing in here probably getting into some trouble um but yeah I don't know what he's doing but you go in this go through this door and you come out to uh Makai's room so we're gonna start here we just have his little toy box right here um for that as soon as you walk out of the bathroom and then this is his room of course he usually always have like the jungle slash animal theme i don't know why almost every room he's had like green orange yellows i don't know i don't know i guess i just really want to make him and uh, nico different and don't want them to complete compete in any way so i just make them have like differences in everything i don't know but <laughs> but this is his room and it's cute he has his little train track which unfortunately i do have to teleport him around it because they're not able to walk um across the tr the train track so i may just move it over there since we won't be using that closet anyway i don't know but i really like it in the middle of the room i think it's cute there so i don't know we'll see but his little butt is also still sleeping so we're gonna leave him to it um and then walk back out this room and then you're back in the hallway uh, we're going to pass Nico's room again right there. And then um, again, that room is Malia's. So this is their house. And I think it's so freaking cute. Um, I mean, it is smaller than their first house. You know that they had. To, well, not their first house because their first house was really small. But it is smaller than the house that they just moved out of but the important part is our girl loves it so you know the 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 grandma may be upset but she could kick rocks so anyway let's go ahead and get into this episode all right y'all so we are back on the inside now again malia is the only one that's up right now and she is hungry she's also cold so i need to uh, I could have sworn that I got them an actual thermostat. Did I not? I guess I did not get them an actual thermostat, but I really, really thought that I did. So, all right, y'all. So I did just get her the thermostat that I thought she already had, but I guess she don't. Um, and we need to go upstairs and take care of our baby girl. 
let me go ahead and let these walls down because she's hungry so we are still nursing her um so i just need for her to come on and pick her up because i like to try to get her into the the chair to nurse i mean but that doesn't always work out because y'all know my sims secretly they do what they want to do so i just need to take care of the kids and then we're going to go through and see what auditions we can do because she uh is still with the well suited talent agency we just need to you know get to work with them because we have not been doing what we need to do okay girl come and sit there and then uh we're gonna nurse our baby girl but y'all see what i'm talking about like she's so little she's so so tiny but we're gonna get we're gonna get her weight back up all right let's go ahead and feed her and she's not feeling well which is okay she's tiny and malia is nice and chunky so you know i guess that just means that our malia girl is eating well you know so <laughs> that's all i can say about that um we probably also need to go ahead and start cooking breakfast because they're going to be hungry uh, when they wake up. I did want to do some tummy time, but we'll probably do that with Malia a little later. So when she gets done feeding her, um, we're just going to take them both downstairs. All right. So now they're done. What stinks? Does she stink? No, she doesn't stink. I don't know what she's saying is stinking. Is something around here? I don't know. I don't know girl um let's come down here though and put malia into this little thing actually let's go ahead and change her we like to try to get the kids dressed every day does that always work absolutely not but we're gonna try to do it now so let's go ahead and change malia's outfit oh she was cold though so let's put her into uh one of her winter wears if i could see them um let's put her in that one so hopefully she won't be too cold we did cut the heat on as well why can't y'all not do nothing right here it's so annoying it's so it's so annoying girl okay i'll just change her girl don't worry you come and put her down here um and I will change her. Yes. So get her out of there. And let's take her downstairs. That way you can go to the restroom. And then you can start cooking breakfast. Okay, there we go. All right. So now let's have her run to the restroom. Oh, I don't know why you're sick, mama. We don't have feeling insecure. Why? I don't know why you're feeling insecure. Okay, and then Miss Ma'am, I need to change your outfit. Yes, I do. So let's go ahead and let's put you into your um, winter wear. So hopefully you won't be cold no more. Look at her. She's so sticky cute look at her y'all i can't stand it she's so cute all right um great you're already in the kitchen so let's cook her up let's cook uh i should have just hit breakfast all right so we're gonna cook us some breakfast and we're going to do let's do some french toast yes let's cook us a french toast that sounds good and then the boys should be waking up let me just make sure they don't have to go to the restroom or anything because we don't have time for them to be doing that okay they're good your back hurt mama what's wrong what is wrong okay i know i know i really don't have time for you to go to the doctor it's just so pointless it's so pointless what's up milo i've been calling you milo who's milo 
I think Milo is um is Milo Joy's dog? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what is wrong, Arlo? I think Milo is Joy's dog. Oh my god. I don't know what's wrong with him though. Uh Aiden? What's up, Tiana? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Uh, no. No. No, you cannot. We don't even know what friend you're talking about. So, absolutely not. Uh, what's wrong with our girl? Why are you sad? Why are you sad, little drama queen? Rest time? From being awake for too long. Girl, you only been awake for like three hours. <laughs> She's only been awake for three hours. Okay, then try to go night night. Take a nap. There you go. Try to go night night. Like, girl, you've only been up for three hours. <laughs> and she's like i've been a i've been up too long now you cannot take her seriously she's so dramatic okay girl while you're there let's go ahead and check for any open auditions that your agency has sent our way so we can go ahead and um get started uh Hmm, $170 to $500. I feel like no, like we gotta go for stuff that's like worth worth her money, worth her time. I mean, worth her time, not really worth her money, but worth her time. Uh, let's see, audition is Friday at nine, and then the gig starts Saturday at 12. We had to be charisma level five. Um, and then we have Apocalypse Rising. This one here is 28.25. Fitness level five. I think that's the most expensive one. So of course we're going with that one. Um, but I think my girl's fitness should be pretty high. Right? Yeah, she's fitness level six. I'm about to say, Clement Frost, it's not your time, bro. It's not your time. Tech guru, guru no. Come on, girl. Let's clean up. Okay, let's clean up and let's go wake up these boys so they can come down. I really want to see if this works. I got a feeling that it's not going to because of um where it is. Like, I truly feel like it, it's just not going to work. Like, because stuff don't work. Um... But it really be cool. If it doesn't, I may have to like, can I put it here? Like, how? I wish it like connected with chairs, but it really doesn't. Like, it just doesn't connect with chairs at all. Oh, and she fought off her infection. Yay. But yeah, I don't know. Like, it doesn't connect with chairs, but I mean, it's supposed to be like a little booster seat, but you got to use the booster in the chair. So, I mean, I don't know. We're going to see how that works. We're we, we going to see how it works. All right. Let's see if you can put someone in the booster. Okay, like, but you, you didn't even try. Okay, maybe because he's asleep. So let's try to put Nico here. Uh, put down Nico. All right, let's see if we can do it. No, you can't. Okay, well, you know, whatever. Nico, baby, come and get your food. Like, I tried to have it, like, all realistic. Put them in, like, a little booster seat instead of having them um, in high chairs. Because I feel like they're just too old for high chairs. Well, not too old, but I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, Nico, baby, you come eat. And then we need to go and wake him up. So, again, she's not going to be able to get across there either. So, I'm really just going to teleport her up here so she could go ahead and wake him up. She's like, come on, Makai, baby. It's time to wake up. It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> Reveal hates wake up time. Little boy, you will be okay. 
okay we're gonna carry him downstairs so i'm just gonna teleport them both right over here because i really don't want to uh move that train like it's cute right there <laughs> i like it there um so let's go ahead let's pick him up and then we're gonna take him downstairs yay and let's go down here with our mr makai whoops uh you can't put makai down here all right there we go and then our grown man mr nico should already be downstairs with his food so we should be good should be good to go i'm not going to change their clothes until after they eat why is everyone calling us cassandra willard is wondering if i want to go over her house and hang out i do not do not all right makai let's come on over here boy you will be okay still upset that you had to wake up um once he gets his food we're going to go ahead and put that up tiana so walk on in the kitchen because he's about to get his plate and we need to go ahead and put this away because we don't have time for no food to be going bad and our girl gotta do her daily cleanup okay daily cleanup we're not hiring a maid um she will hire a nanny ever so often if she gotta work or if she has like errands that she needs to run but that's about it really arlo like you see us vacuuming and you're just gonna plop your little butt right there okay okay and where are they okay they both right here uh makai stop that did you eat your food buddy did you eat let me see let me see if you ate oh you did you just have dirty dishes all in your inventory now that your mama gotta clean that up too okay do you have to use it come over here and talk to your sister he always keeps her company they're just so sticky cute go and entertain your sister oh they're so cute he's such a good big brother okay girl now the next thing i need for you to do is clean this up okay and i'm gonna take that vacuum back out because i didn't ask for you to put it there okay keep it there all right perfect now let's uh put these boys on some clothes let's go ahead and i'll you know what i'll just dress them because she be doing too much so let's go ahead and put him on his uh winter wear which will be that and then makai let's do the same for you let's put you on your winter wear boom there we go okay i really would like for you to be able to jump in the shower but i don't know if we're gonna do that now that the kids are up so how about you just go in here and um brush your teeth and then you'll just put on some clothes just do it that way uh let's put on your a winter wear as well yeah one of those is fine all right i'll watch the kids girl you go ahead and go and makai his little budget be in his own world he'd be like i don't have time for none of these people so let's have him go ahead and play yeah i just cannot believe it's time to age nico up like i i just can't i mean he's already you know taller and bigger than than makai there's a difference but they're only like a year apart like look at them 
Look at the little a uh, height difference. It's so cute. Like, my girl got stair steps, like, for real. And by the time it's uh, time to age uh, Makai up, then our girl Malia will be a toddler. So, but Nico and Makai are literally right there together. They're only, only a year apart. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, I would really like to try to take them out somewhere. Um, I want to put the stroller in though. Like, y'all look at the stroller. <laughs> I think this stroller is so cute. It's also by Dollish. Um, and actually four kids can fit in this stroller. But, you know, we only have three. So, we only have three kids. But it just looks so weird having it empty right there. So, I put um, a second one up just in case, you know, we don't know what they want to want to be in. So, um, we're going to go ahead and put this in our inventory so we can have it for when we go out. I really don't know where we're going to go right now. Like, I have no clue. But... Let's get out the house, girl, and go somewhere. So we're going to put the whole thing. We're going to break it down and pretend like we're putting it in the trunk of the car. Like, imagine getting this stroller out. Like, getting it out for real. And now you got to, like, load all the kids up in the, in, in the car, child. All right, so now that we're done loading that up into the car, <laughs> then we're going to say, uh, now that we're done loading that up into the car, we're going to go ahead and head out again. I don't even know where we're going. Um, I don't know, but we're going to go somewhere. So let's take our kiddos and get them out this house. Arlo will be back. Okay, y'all, so my girl decided to drive about an hour and a half away to go to the beach. That's just where she's most relaxed. That's where she's at peace. And it's also where her kids can have a good time since it's winter. And the beach is not that far. And then it's also not cold. So she brought the kids here and put them in their stroller, you know, and we walked on down to the beach, which we're here now. So we're just going to let um, Nico and Makai get out and have themselves some fun in the sand uh, while our little baby girl just stays back there, sort of just soaking up the sun and looking fabulous as she is. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, oh, I missed it. We're going to go ahead and let these two out. <laughs> and it looks like Makai will be really happy about that because he does not like being in this stroller, which his little butt will be just fine. <laughs> and look at Malia. Like, y'all, she doesn't care. She just has no care in the world, I swear. All right. And then let's get our good guy Makai out and let's set him down. All right, and why don't we come over here and build a sand sculpture? Why can't I do it with both of them? I really hate that. I really hate that I can't do it with like both of them. So how about you come right next to them and you make you a sculpture as well? Meanwhile, we got to keep our eyes on our baby girl. Like we don't really want to put her in the sand. Um, so as long as she's good right there, we're good. And she is like she's <laughs> she's having a ball right here by herself as long as she's not hungry or sleepy like she's such a good baby. She's such a good baby. She's so cute. All right. But meanwhile, she's going to be over here with her boys having a good time with them. She just always try to get them out of the house and do something. So I really do need to find like different things to put out in the world because um, go ahead and resume building that with Makai because she don't like for them to just be stuck in the house with nothing to do. So even if it's only for like an hour, it doesn't matter. It's like, I know your butt did not walk over there in front of them people and fart. Really, Nico? I'm so done. <laughs> I'm so done with him. Um, 
Okay, I guess he's okay. He's all right. We're going to leave him to it then. We just need to watch him and make sure he's good. Okay, and our baby Malia is good as well. Somebody wants to chat with... Um, with uh, Tiana. But y'all, our girl is so little. We got to get her way back. She still got that ring on though. We'll not, and we'll not be taking it off. Like, what's the point? I mean, hey, baby, we'll start making some friends. We definitely going to get a makeover. That's for sure. But I mean, if they hit it off and become friends, we cool with that. Oh, or not. I'm like, I don't know. She seems to be inspired. I don't know what she's wearing. So we're going to have to switch all of that up. She's like, yeah, it's really nice to meet you. You know, I'm just really here with my kids. And y'all, Nico is like the life of the party. When I tell you this baby talks to any and everybody. And I mean any and everybody. Like, why are you stinking, sir? Do you need your diaper changed? I don't know why. Because you're potty trained. And he must have a stinky diaper because... See, y'all, I told y'all, he is the life of the party. Come on and change his diaper. Stop talking, Nico. <laughs> he, just, he will talk to any and everybody. It don't matter. Meanwhile, Makai, he's more like to himself. Don't bother him. He really don't want to talk to you. You know, we got all these strangers coming up to our babies. And I don't like it for real. Uh, okay, like, sir, you're a suspect. But you know what? I'm gonna have my girl, like, really get to know everybody that she goes out with. Like, let's get to know them. Just because they don't look like somebody we would talk to doesn't mean that we can't give them a nice little makeover. I do want to keep, like, their same sort of physique. I do want to keep their same, like, build. Probably just switch it up a little bit. But, I mean... You never know who my girl might start. You just never know. Right? You never know. You never know. That's what I'm going to leave it at that. Like, she's open. She's open, but she's not in any rush. And since she, he's over here talking to our kid, we need to, like, talk to him. And he's like really over here having a conversation with our baby. So let's ask him about his day. Oh, Tiana has learned the following traits already. You learned that he's romantic? She's like, yeah, so this is my son, Makai. My other son over there is Nico. And then I have my baby girl, Malia. She's like, yeah, but it's so great to meet you. Thank you so much for hanging out with my son. He's like, yeah, I'm sort of not feeling well. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. She's like, yeah, I actually just got over a bug not too long ago. All right, so uh, let's open his profile. He's romantic, high school graduate. He's perceived as basic looking. Okay, all right. I mean, we can work with that. We can change his name. We can give him a makeover. You know what I mean? And he could just be a friend. He's like, I mean, you guys seem like really cool. Do you come here a lot? And she's like, not really. Meanwhile, Makai is taking over with the conversation, y'all. Like, he he's taking over with the conversation. He's like, yeah, yeah, this is my mama. And you stay away. Like, all right, we're going to have him share ideas. Um, Nico. Nico, man. Nico, man. <laughs> Look at he looking. Why is he looking <laughs> Nico's like, um, excuse me, I'm supposed to be the life of the party. Like, why are they over there just chatting it up? Baby, that was the eyes of death. Jesus, how about you come over here and you talk to uh, your, your baby sister? Come talk to your baby sister. Or maybe he mad that like this guy is like talking to his mama. Maybe that's it. She's like, yeah, it's getting late, though, and, you know, we have to get ready to go. Girl, where are you going? 
Why are you putting her down? No, she's fine. Okay. All right. Well, whatever. She's like, yeah, I got to get ready to get these kids out of here. <laughs> Look at Mika. I mean, Makai, he really likes him. All right. Let's go ahead and put all of this in your inventory, girl. Because I think they're getting a little, they're getting a little antsy. And you're really making her upset. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Tiana, like, girl, please, please stop. Okay? Look, look, look. Y'all, Malia know what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. Uh, hello? Why is you spraying our baby? Go away. What the heck? Thank you, Tiana, girl. All right, now hurry up and put that one in your inventory so I don't have to worry about you picking him, her up again. Put it in your inventory. No. No. Stop picking these kids up. Tiana, what are you doing? We gotta go. <laughs> put this in your inventory. Like... <laughs> This is why I don't come out with them because they're so chaotic. This right here is why. Okay. And now you need to pick her up. So she's out of that sand. Not they outfit sort of matching, y'all. I didn't even realize that. They're so cute. Okay, I have to hurry up and get some more um uh, pictures taken before any of them age up we definitely have to go and get some photos uh of all of them like i didn't even realize they were slick dressed alike period all right though but we have to get home we we have to get home so we're going to say that we changed them both back into um their clothes because they do need to get back into their winter wear because when we get home um it's cold and we have like an hour hour and a half drive so they may even be cold in the car all right so they're back in their clothes and we need to go we're going to say that she got her his number because you know he's going to be a friend that just takes her mind off of things and it's nice to her and you know just 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 there just there all right girl let's go all right, y'all. So we are back at the house. We're going to have all of them go on inside. Um, all right. She's hungry. So let's see if I can get our girl to sit here with her. So we can go ahead and get her nursed. And then let's bring the boys on in here. I don't know why either one of y'all want attention. When y'all literally had all of the attention at that um beach everybody was coming up to y'all and y'all now telling me y'all still need attention y'all are so dramatic uh, all right so now that we're in here let's go ahead and have her nurse um baby malia and then we weren't we wasn't able to do our tummy time with her today which I mean, it's fine. We could do that at another time. I'm going to bring their fun up. Like, bro, y'all literally been building sandcastles, talking to everybody. Like, I don't understand how any of that is down. So, no. How about y'all to, like, do something and play together? Um... Y'all two... Y'all two need to play. Whether it's upstairs or down. Come over here and play with your big brother. So what do y'all want to do? I hate that it's only talk. Like. Why isn't it like play? Activities. Watch. Interest. Talk about art. Talk about trucks. Um. I mean, maybe y'all both have to go upstairs. I mean, they're old enough to go up and down the stairs. Sure. Maybe they could just come up here. Can y'all play with each other up here? If not, then there's really no point 
Uh, but y'all can be up here together. All right, so how about you come up there and draw? And Nico, you can come up here and uh, play in the little thingy. All right, there we go. So both of y'all got something that y'all can do to keep y'all company while mama finishes nursing baby Malia. Is she done? Okay, she's done now. Oh, she's spending time with her baby girl. Um. Okay, so she is about to use her diaper. <laughs> so we need to wait on that. And let's go ahead and can we just change her outfit and put her into her night outfit? Can we do that without you going to the thing? Yay. Okay, great. And let's go ahead and just put her here because I really don't want to change her diaper until I mean, I really don't want to put her in her crib until she uses her diaper. So we're just going to put her here. So um, and your fun should be up too, girl, you are out with your kids. Okay, and now you need to go and use the restroom. And we need to begin ready to shut down for the night. My Arlo, where you been? Arlo just does what he wants y'all like you know he just comes and goes and he does whatever makes him happy the boys are hungry and they are also tired so we really need to I'm just gonna see if we have any leftovers really because I don't know if we're gonna have time to cook you know the day just really got away from us so let's see what we have in here which I really think is nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing but freaking breakfast. <sighs> and a fruit salad. Okay, girl, yeah, we got to cook. We got to cook. Um, Let's just come in here and make something really quick, though. So let's serve. I mean, it's cold outside. I feel like we should do chili. Like, I really feel like we should do chili. They're going to be so, they're, they're so tired though, but they'll be okay. They'll be okay. Like, why don't you continue playing in there so you can just keep, or, or take a nap. You can take a nap in there if you want. Meanwhile, we have our little Picasso here because he likes to draw and he's like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Which is fine. Cause he could go in here and go potty. Because both of our boys are potty trained. So he can go potty. And what you doing? Oh, that's how you got to step down? Really? <laughs> All right. And she's getting antsy because she's tired. Which is fine, y'all. Just give mama a minute. Let her get her food together. I know. I know, mama. We gonna be done soon though. Done soon. That way everybody can go to bed. And my girl gotta get some sleep because we have our audition tomorrow morning. Um, that we have to go to, which we really didn't have to prepare for. Thankfully, because she already is at a level six fitness. And for this one, you had to be at a level five. So, um, Thankfully, there's really not a lot that we have to do uh, to get ready and to prepare for it. So that's always a good thing. You done, girl? Period. All right, let's uh, get the boys down here. And let's have them eat. Because I really did not want to cheat that. Come on and grab a serving and grab a serving. And y'all know something like y'all see how we see all these spirits. Why is it? And I don't have the life and death um, 
expansion pack yet but i probably will go ahead and get it but i don't have it yet but i'm really upset that we have not seen justin spirit at all like i i don't know why but i'm like really mad about that no 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 you don't need to check her has she used the restroom yet Because I know as soon as I lay her little butt down, she's going to use it. They do it all the time. All the time. Um, let's see if we could just go ahead and change her diaper. Because. Because, yeah. Um, and I'm really upset that I cannot use my changing table. I don't know why it says that we can't get to it. Oh, Lord. She didn't went to sleep. Uh-uh. Wake up. <laughs> wake up. She gonna be mad, y'all. She gonna be mad. <laughs> All right. They over here eating up. Girl, I know you freaking lying. Why would you kiss her goodnight? Why would you do that? Oh, girl, you make me so upset. Okay, she did not go to sleep. She did not go to sleep. Okay, so change her diaper. Do what I say, Tiana. Change her diaper. Change it. Oh, my gosh. She did go to sleep. Okay. Okay. All right. Forget it. Let's just go ahead and uh, put her in her crib. Put her in her crib. Yes, and put her in her crib. All right, uh, the the two little ones, Nico, you come and go potty, and you, sir, you can come here, and I will go ahead and put you to bed because I'm gonna have to teleport you over the train. All right. You can walk on in here. Go here because we're about to get ready to tuck Makai in. All right, Makai baby. You go to sleep because you definitely are exhausted. Okay. Tiana, teleport yourself over there. I don't know why you dizzy, mama. All right. And now tuck in your baby boy. Let's tuck him in. There we go. All right. We getting somewhere. Let me cheat your sleep just a little bit because I don't have time for you to be passing out. Go back over here. Okay. And now we're going to tuck in uh, Nico. All right. There we go. Tuck in Nico. Then we're going to come downstairs and we need to put our chili away. Oh, it really means a lot to me that you make time for me. Just wanted to let you know. Oh, her babies, her babies. All right. You didn't have to go down those stairs, but I get it. It's fine. Put that away. Good niece. Okay, y'all, I think right there is a good place to go ahead and wrap up this episode. I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed our girl Tiana coming back. Uh, definitely leave me some comments down below of exactly what you thought. What do y'all envision for Tiana now that she's on this new journey? And, you know, trying to live her life as a single widowed parent, um, navigating the dating world again, finding new friends, all that other stuff. I'm really excited. I'm about to do some makeovers in the town just so um, our girl can start going out more. Um, I'm going to be putting more places for her to take the kids. So we're not always in the house. But, of course, there will be some um, episodes where we probably will be at the house more than um, not. Uh, so definitely let me know what you guys think or where we should go when it comes to Tiana. Should we have her go out there? Just start getting friends, start going on dates, just test the waters a little bit, or should we not? I don't know. 
I, I'm really confused, but I am sad that I have not seen Justin's um, spirit anywhere. So I'm really sad about that. But maybe it's also a good thing. I don't know. I don't know. But definitely let me know in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys so much. Please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and that post notification bell. And I will see you guys next week with a brand new episode.